Hello, so today's video is about how to draw fast and easy diagrams regarding parotid glands. Boundaries. Draw your parotid gland at first. You can also remember this structure as that of our India map. Also draw the parotid duct laterally. Now you know that para means around and otic means ear. So this gland is situated somewhat around the ear. From this we got the first boundary that is superiorly you have got your external acoustic meatus and also your temporomandibular joint. Now anteriorly you have your ramus of mandible and posteriorly you have your mastoid process. Now medially you have got your styloid process. Now the parotid bed is lined by muscles. Let's see which are the muscles. On ramus of mandible there are two muscles. Laterally you have got your masseter muscle and medially you have your medial pterygoid muscle. On mastoid process there are also two muscles. Laterally there is sternocleidal mastoid muscle and medially posterior belly of digastric muscle. Now the styloid process is covered with three slender muscles, stylohyoid, styloglossus and stylopharyngeus. Now coming to the relations of the parotid gland, let's consider the gland to be an inverted triangle with apex facing downwards. Structures in the apex portion include your cervical branch of facial nerve and anterior and posterior divisions of the retromandibular vein. In the superior surface or the base, there are superficial temporal vein and arteries and also your auricular temporal nerve. Now let's see the structures in the anterior and posterior borders. In the anterior border, the parotid duct divides into two portions. Above the duct, there are your temporal branch of facial nerve and transverse facial artery and zygomatic branch of facial nerve and also your upper buccal branch of facial nerve. Below the parotid duct, you have your lower buccal branch of facial nerve and marginal mandibular branch of facial nerve. In the posterior border, there are posterior auricular nerve and vessels. Remember one, posterior auricular vein, posterior auricular artery and posterior auricular nerve. Now, for the remaining structures, let's draw horizontal section of the parotid gland. This is superficial surface, medial border, anterior border and posterior border. On superficial surface, include your skin, deeper to that your superficial fascia which include platysma and also your greater auricular nerve. Then deeper to that there is parotid fascia and then is your deep parotid lymph node which is embedded in the gland. In the medial side, there is your wall of pharynx. Now in the posterior medial surface, there are mastoid process and also your styloid process. On mastoid process, you already knew of two muscles, posterior belly of digastric and your sternocleidal mastoid. On styloid process, there are three muscles, remember HGP, stylohyoid, styloglossus and stylopharyngeus. In the anterior medial surface, there is your ramus of mandible on which two muscles are there. Medially, you have your medial pterygoid muscle and laterally masseter muscle. Coming to the last portion, the structure passing through the parotid gland. There are three structures mainly present within the gland, your facial nerve, retromandibular vein and external carotid artery. Let's see each one of them. Facial nerve is the most superficial one. It enters the gland and divides into five terminal branches. That is your temporal branch, zygomatic branch, upper and lower buccal branches, marginal mandibular branch and your cervical branch. Now, retromandibular vein occupies the intermediate zone and ends below by dividing into anterior and posterior divisions. External carotid artery occupies deep zone of the gland. The superficial temporal artery and transverse facial artery emerges through anterior border and posteriorly emerges the posterior auricular artery. So these are the structures present within the gland. For more lectures on parotid gland, check out our detailed video on parotid gland given link in the description box. So hope you all like the video and if you are watching our video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So thank you.